here we go. This demo is going to show you how to connect a camera in Node-RED and take a picture. Um, this demo does assume you've already connected a camera to your Raspberry Pi and that you have enabled it in the settings. Um, we have another tutorial for that. But what, what I do need you to do is go up here to the little top right three line settings window and go down here to settings and if you click on that once it opens you up to this user settings menu and by default it starts in grid in a view there's a couple of settings you can explore if you want to change how your window looks we're going to go down to palette and in palette is kind of what nodes you have so they they call the nodes a uh, your palette kind of like painting or something so you can paint with different nodes um, these are ones we already have installed. You can see in use and remove disable, but we want to actually go over to install. Let's find a new node, and I'm going to search for camera. And it should, if you're connected to the internet, which we are, it should automatically populate nodes that meet your camera criteria. And the node we want is this node red contrib camera pi. Maybe if I actually search for camera pi, is that better? Okay, let's just search for camera pi, everyone. Um, I've just learned something too, but if you search for camera pi, it only comes up with the one that we want, so that will be less confusing. And you'll see I already have it installed, but if you can go ahead and click this install button, because for you it won't say installed, and that should install it. And then we can close, and back in here now, you might not notice anything change, um, which is normal, but if you scroll down all the way to the bottom on the left window, in this Raspberry Pi section, there should now be a new node called Camera Pi Take Photo. So I'm going to drag that over here and take photo Python node. So I double click on that. So I, yeah, you can look at a lot of different settings in here. So file mode, you actually don't need to change any of these settings right now. I just wanted to let you know that they're there. If you wanted to go ahead and change it to 640 by 480, that changes the resolution. Um, you can go up all the way to here, but for smaller file sizes, I'm just going to leave it at 640 by 480 for now. And then click Done. So to actually take a photo, we have to use an inject node to send some data to this. So I'm going to go back up to inject, and drag it in here. And by default, inject nodes start with a timestamp, but we don't want a timestamp. So you have to double click, double click on your inject node, which shows up as timestamp and we want to change it to a number. This is the simplest way to send data to the to make a camera take a picture. So we're just going to say 1. So again, I did number and then 1 and then done. And then we can uh, hover over this output node of the inject and drag a line. So I click and drag over to here and we got our take photo python node. So I'm going to move it a little closer just Make it close together and uh, click deploy. You notice those little blue dots went away. That means that they're now compiled and not changing. And we can delete. So now that we have this node in here, if we click inject, it says connected. Something may have happened. I actually already have pictures in here, so I'm going to delete them. But let me let me go ahead and show you how to get to the pictures. So it actually took a photo, and it doesn't tell you in here where the photo was taken and put, but if you go on the Info tab, it gives you a lot of information. So because whatever node you have selected, it shows up in the Info tab. So if I click on this, then it shows up all this information. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it shows you the default directory you should have a home slash pi slash pictures file directory to use. So that's actually where, where our picture is right now. So if I go ahead and click up on the file manager in your top left corner of your Raspberry Pi, it opens me up to the file manager, which happens to actually start already in home slash pi. So all I have to do is click on pictures. So you double click on pictures. And in here there's no pictures right now because I just deleted them all. Those are from me experimenting. If I go back in here and click take picture, this successfully injected, and then here's a picture. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, there's like my chin. <laughs> the camera's sitting on the desk here, and it's not uh, not uh, looking at anything interesting, really. But you get the idea. That's how you take a picture. And I have actually changed this to uh, 
view as detailed list because I wanted to see the the time the picture is taken but yours will probably look more like this um, you can change how you want your pictures to view as you can actually view them as thumbnails too if you click over here on this larger option and it's pretty dark in this room right now so that's why it's a kind of dark thumbnail but yeah that's how you um, take a photo